talk to you a little bit about blend modes. Um, specifically the way we use blend modes while using textures. So a blend mode is the way that the top layer or a layer interacts with the layers below it in Photoshop. This image is of a black and white image of a girl laying on stairs. So we want to create a little bit of interest in this image. So I'll go ahead and use the texture eraser. This image has a lot of highlighted areas. It has some dark areas. There's scratches, there's destruction. There are a variety of colors in this image and we want to see how we can make those interact with the image below. So I'll go through and show you some of the blend modes that we're going to use. First, we'll look at overlay. So in your blend modes, you choose overlay. The overlay blend mode is a contrast blend mode. So the areas that are dark are going to show as dark shadowed areas and the areas that are light are going to show as lighter, more highlighted areas. Anything that's in the gray areas, 50% gray, is going to be transparent. So you can see that coming across in the highlights and the shadows of this image. It's also showcasing a lot of the scratches and textures, which I love. We'll try another one. Let's try soft light. So basically soft light is like the baby brother of overlay. It does basically the same thing. It's just not as intense. So again, I think I prefer the way this looks because we don't have as much of the detail coming through up here because it was white. So it's really pulling less detail in the bottom, which I think aesthetically looks nicer. Now let's try hard light. So as you can see, it's very intense. It's pulled a lot of the color through, but we're also retaining some of the white highlights in the image. Next, we're gonna choose multiply. Multiply again is a little more harsh. Um, we're seeing a lot of color coming through. We're seeing a lot of scratches, but again, up where the white highlight was, we don't have a whole lot of a change. So let's go over to screen. Now you can see that it's really lightened up the image. Screen takes away any blacks that are in an image. So all of your white highlights are going to show through, which we can see specifically in these areas. The next I want to show you is color. So of course, color is taking the color from your texture and putting it into your image. So again, where the whites were, there's no color to put into the image, but where the blues and the yellows were, we're seeing those throughout the image. Now we'll choose the one that I think works the best. So based off of us cycling through, I really feel like soft light was probably the most complimentary. It's kind of retaining the black and white feel that I like, um, but we're adding a little bit of color into the image and it's not overwhelming. If you felt like this was a little too harsh, you can always go into your opacity and change that. But I'm happy with the way this one looks. I love the grit and the grain and the general feel and sketchiness of this image. So I'm happy with this one. Now we're going to go into another image where we're going to use multiple blend modes and different opacities. So here we have an image of a gentleman sitting in a chair. I've brought two textures in that I'd like to use in this image. The first one is Obscura from the Film Texture Pack. So what I'd like to do with this texture is to get rid of the blacks. So what we'll do is we'll take it into screen, which is going to get rid of the black. Now, of course, this is very harsh. So I'm gonna drop my opacity down a little. So you can see what a difference that makes just from a depth perspective. There's a lot of cracks and sort of unnatural forms in this. So I really like it, but I don't necessarily feel like it's a finished piece. So what I'd like to do now is bring in another texture, which I chose as lake bed. I love the color here and I think it will complement the image really well. So because I like the color, I'm actually going to choose the color blend mode. So again, it's really harsh, it's 100%, so we'll drop the opacity down again. I like that, I love the feeling of it, but I feel like Obscura is a little too intense still. So let's drop that down. Now 
Now I want to make a group to just show you quickly what I've done. So we'll flip it back and forth. So this is the image before we put textures on, and this is the image after we put textures on. Obscura has really helped to create some depth and some grit and almost a haunted feeling. And lake bed has really shifted our color and the tonality in the image and given it a completely different effect. This has been a look at blend modes. Um, again, each one of these blend modes is going to interact differently with the texture you use, with the picture you use, and ultimately it just comes down to um, you being creative and trying new things. Thank you.